McElroy, see you later, mate. Mind my pint. Drive on. What do I owe you, mate? 20 quid. I'll give you 40. Bargains offend me. Oh, there's no way I'm fitting through there. Someone get the baby oil and oil me up. This discrimination against meatheads like me. It's also known as the sport of the kings. No, I'm not talking about running through Belfast city centre, throwing 50 pound notes at the great unwashed for the banter. We're talking about horse racing. I'm here in West Down, which is Sue North Down. <laughs> yes, guys, it's Down Royal, which is also what my registration plate says on the Jag. Sure. Have we got VIP passes sorted for the, the lounge? No. I'll get it sorted. Don't even worry about it. See you in a sec. Horse racing used to be for the elite, but now, much to my dismay, it's open to everyone, no matter how skinny your dad is. I actually just spoke to a guy outside there who earns under 28k per annum. What? I said to the race organisers, I said, guys, why don't we only allow people in from North Down and certain areas of South Belfast, eh? the cream of the crop? And they said, no, Mike, Down Royals for everyone. And I said, even Lord, guys? And they said, yes, Mike, even Lord. And I said, guys, that's a mistake. And they said, Mike, get out. The first thing you want to do when you arrive is pick yourself up an official race car. What that is is your guide to the day's racing. And it's so simple, even you, UJ alumni, wouldn't be at another depth. It's imperative when you come down to the races to get yourself down to the paddock early on. Have a wee Jeffrey Duke at the GGs, see what you like, and then you can love a bet on it. It's a bit like when I go down to Ollie's and uh, scoop out the dance floor and see who I'll be gracing with my conversation that evening. <laughs> great chat, great chat. Barry, how you doing, mate? What odds are you giving on me pulling a worldie? What does a long shot mean? Down Royal is all about mingling. I mean, look at me. I've been to the GP, I've had my vaccinations, and I'm here in the public bar. I can't handle it anymore. I meant it. Get me out of here. <laughs> Cooed red. <laughs> How's it going, mate? Tommy, if there's an absolute lunatic never been to Down Royal before, why do they need to get themselves here? Oh, I mean, you just look around you, the crack, the gorgeously turned out people, the beautifully turned out horses. I mean, it's just a fantastic day out. Whether sure. you're into your horses or not, you just come here for the crack and people watching, of course. Sure, and in terms of etiquette, what's a faux pas someone might commit here? Do you know, there are a lot of people come here thinking they are the big fella, have the big wad of money with them, but they've actually, it's really no no to wrap a 20 pound note round newspaper and just to try and have the, the, looking like you've got something when you really haven't, that is so much of a no-no. Sure. Um, has your phone number changed or is it still? So you have it guys, an absolutely unbelievable day at Down Royal. I actually haven't had that much fun since I went into really with Barry McGuigan and Jamie Dornan. <laughs> the less said the better, Your Honour. Uh, in all seriousness guys, it's been a day of new experiences, you know. I've been everywhere from the champagne bar, to even having a you know burger and a pint with people I'd normally phone the police on just for walking past my house uh, in the Gold Coast. You know, if it hadn't have been for uh, you know my hay fever, I might have actually jumped on a horse myself and entered a race. <laughs> what? No. In fact, don't talk to me like that again. If I want to go on a horse, I'll go on a horse, and I'm definitely not going. To, I'm absolutely not going on a horse. Slow down, slow down, slow down. He turned his face towards me, guys. Can someone come in? This thing's going quicker than Jimmy Nesbitt on his way up to a free bar. Now, some of these racehorses can go up to around 40 miles an hour, which is roughly the same speed as my Rolls Royce when it's on the route. Obviously, it's being weighed down by XMSN eyes and bottle of Grey Goose on board. I'm really comfortable on horseback. I think we're going to head into Ollie's tonight like this. What are we doing here? We're 50 miles an hour. I mean, the birds are going to be absolutely loving the sight of this. A big, elegant, muscular beast on this horse. <laughs> To Ollie's we go. Would this horse be comfortable going to Ollie's or, or what's happening? Get me a gin. Somebody get me a gin immediately. Oh Christ. Oh Christ. Oh God. Oh God.